good morning everyone so I'm back from vacation getting back into my routines getting back into my videos and oh this is Lily she decided to join us this morning she's what they call a diluted um, tortoise shell she's so pretty but she knows she's named after a queen and she expects um, to be treated as such anyway She's not the point of this video. I wanted to share something with you guys because it seems that in my personal life I keep coming across it. And just the other night I had a girlfriend text me and she said, hey, are you still up? I really need to talk to you. Now, I don't talk to this girlfriend um, all the time. She's got twins that are like, I don't know, nine or ten. I mean... We both have shit going on all the time. And that's fine. That's cool. And I was like, yeah, I'm still up. Um, you know, what's going on? And she's really struggling with some shit in her life. And so, you know, I talked to her for a while. And then, you know, when I was um, up in Kansas a couple months ago, I was talking with another girlfriend that... I don't see all the time, we don't talk all the time, but man, when we get together, we just have a blast. And, you know, she said the same thing that I did, which is, you know, there are some days we don't talk to other adults. Um, and, you know, sometimes that's really hard. And depression does set in. And I'm not a doctor. I don't have a PhD in crap. All I know is what um, has worked for me. I recently had a blow up with someone and I was told in no uncertain terms that I needed to get happy in the same pants I got pissed off in. It was my decision to move to Oklahoma and a lot of times I regret that decision. I left my friends I left my lifestyle, I left everything in hopes of having a better life in Oklahoma. And I do, I do have a better life in Oklahoma. I just never pictured it without friends. So I've got one girlfriend who lives, she's my quote unquote neighbor, but we gotta drive to each other's houses. We don't live close. And you know, she said the same thing to me. She said, you know, I've lived here my whole life and you're the only one that talks to me. But I had to take a long, hard look at myself. And I said, you know, I do. I need to get happy in the same pants I got pissed off in. And so one of the things I did was when I had to really analyze this, I had to analyze my life. And one of the things that I was so unhappy about was my weight. I put on a lot of weight since moving to Oklahoma. And I said, okay, that is something I can control. So I just started losing weight. I just woke up one morning and I said, you know what, I'm done. I'm done being fat. I'm done. And, you know, most people would probably say, but you're not fat. But I didn't feel good. I didn't feel good at the weight I was at. So I started with that. I started just losing weight and then I said you know what would make me feel better on the day today I started getting up and doing my hair you know what I've got the time now um, when my kids were little I didn't have time to do my hair it was thrown up in a bun like all the other soccer moms okay so I started doing my hair and then I started doing my makeup and you know what? It really does help. It really helped me to raise my vibration. It helped me realize that, you know, I am still beautiful. I do still have a lot to offer. And it just made me feel better about myself. And so that's the advice that I give my girlfriend. I said, start with what you can control. And, you know, I wanted to share all this with everyone because... I know we're not the only ones out there struggling. So, <laughs> she just has to be in the video today, doesn't she? 
So if you're struggling with depression and, you know, if things just are not going the way you expected them to, I get it. I get it. Um, it is hard. It's really hard. One of the things I did, like I said, I just, what can I control? And the first thing I did was started controlling my weight. Ow. And I have to tell y'all, today I'm wearing skinny jeans. I don't think I wore skinny jeans since the 80s. And it feels good. It feels real good. And I have to tell you a side effect of me getting up and doing my hair and my makeup and, uh, you know, losing weight is that people are starting to take notice and they're wondering, what is she doing? And I feel better about myself. So even when I do go to town and I walk in a store, people are looking at me and they looking at me. And I just smile. I'm like, what are you looking at? Oh, what, what are you looking at? And people do treat you differently when you feel good about yourself and you look good. And so it's been, it's been really fun. I do have to admit that. It's been fun. And that was the start for me to get happy in the same pants I got pissed off in. And then the other one was, you know, years ago I used to have a YouTube channel. And I let it slide when I got sick and then with the move and everything. And so I started doing my uh, YouTube video blogs again. And... I really do love it. My life has changed so much and it's nice to share it with you guys. And I'm finding that the more I do share my struggle with um, depression and loneliness, that more and more people are resonating with me. And they're like, oh, we're going through the same thing. We're going through the same thing. You know, as a society, we're so conditioned to just accept it, suck it up and just keep moving. But sometimes, you know, if when you peel back the layers, people are struggling with the same thing you are. And if you're struggling with it, you know, just do what you can control and do what makes you feel good. You know, while I'm listening, um, I listen to some YouTube. I got a couple playlists that I listen to while I'm doing my hair and makeup. And it's all happy stuff and you know uplifting stuff so first thing in the morning my mind's not filled with how many people were killed and you know blah 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 and it really really does make a difference it really does y'all got my coffee still mm. and it has helped me immensely and i hope if anybody else out there is watching this and you're wondering, what can I do? What can I do? You know what? We, we, we've got a lot we can do. And I'm not saying don't go see a doctor. I'm not saying don't get help if you need it. I'm just sharing with you guys what has helped pull me out of um, my depression was making me feel better about myself. And yeah, I do get up and... I get dressed every day. I know you can't see it. I put on my amber necklace. I got on my amber bracelet. These are the earrings, silver earrings my, one of my girlfriends gave me. You know what? It just makes me feel good. And since I feel good, the rest of my house feels better. Because as a woman, as a mom, as a housekeeper, you, you know, whatever hat I'm wearing at that moment, it does affect my family. And I want to stop having the pity party, stop being in depression, and I want to impact my family in a positive, happy way. And let me tell you something else. If you've got a spouse, a mate, whatever, when you start doing this, they start looking at you. Hmm, where are you going today? Hmm, nowhere. I'm going to go scrub the toilet. I'm going to look damn good while I do it. Oh, you look nice today. Are you going somewhere? No. But I'm still going to look damn good while I do it. And they start taking notice. They will. They're going to take notice and they'll be like, Whoa, look at these changes. And you're going to see positive changes from them. 
And it's not going to happen overnight. It took my family about three or four months before they were like, whoa. And they're liking the positive changes. And they're wanting to be around me. And they're wanting to do things with me. And so it's been really um, quite a journey. And so I'm going to sign off here with this video. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. I'll be happy to answer them. But once again, the basic things I did to get happy in the same pants I got pissed off in. I started losing weight. I started doing my hair. I started doing my makeup. You know, I put on my good clothes or nice clothes, however you want to say it. Even if I'm staying at home because it makes me feel good. And right now, this is about me. It's not about everyone else. So, I hope this helps someone. I hope that this video reaches the people that need to hear it. And I, I just, I manifest that. I manifest that people will find this video and know that they're not alone. They're not alone. There's a lot of us out there that hide it very well. And so, you can do it. You can do it. If I can do it, anybody can do it. So I manifest that this video reaches people and really helps them. You guys, don't forget to like it. Hit subscribe and the bell icon. And we're going to get back to doing more videos. I've got some videos coming up about Christmas and what I'm doing to get ready and how I'm doing it eco-friendly and saving money by going eco-friendly. So... Let's just do this. Let's just rock it. Get up and make up. And let's do it together. All right. Bye, guys.